Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify if an item was created or modified in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, Teams, Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting on more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify if an item was created or modified. So I'm going to be using an automated Cloudflow and I'm going to be using this action when an item is created or modified. So in my case, let's say I want to send a separate email for when an item was created, and I want to send a different email for when an item was modified. So I'm going to show you how to do that all in one flow. And we're going to be creating items in my SharePoint list employee data. So let's go ahead and start this. So our flow name is just going to be identify. Identify, modified, or created. And the action is going to be when an item is created or modified. All right, so in the new, new designer, let's go ahead and go to our site address. So in my case, I'll be using the marketing SharePoint and my list is called employee data. So that is right there. Uh, no parameters on this, everything is fine. All right, so when an item is created or modified, we're gonna have a compose. Let's go ahead and use the compose action. And for the input right here, we're going to do in a formula with int. And then I'm going to get the version number. So version number from when my item is created or modified. Your formula is gonna look like this. We're getting the integer of this because it comes out as a text field when it is an item created or modified. And I had some issues later on in this flow if it was a text. So I just convert it to an integer. When an item is created, the version number is going to be one. If an item is modified, it's going to be greater than one. So we're going to use that to determine if it was created or modified. So let's go ahead and just have rename the compose to version number. I like to do for my naming on actions, no spaces or nothing, just to make it easier later on. Sometimes you, if you have spaces, it can throw off your formulas if you don't know how to handle it. Let's go ahead and do a condition. Our condition is going to be the outputs from our compose. So that will be the version number. And since we converted it to an integer, we just have to put one here. So if it's equal to one, we know that the item was created because it's gonna be the first version of that item. So for the true, let's go ahead and do send an email. So I have my email here, the subject item was created and marketing employee data. If you wanna add some dynamic content to make your emails Better for the user, go ahead. I'm just doing a generic one. Item was created, and we will include the first name of the employee. So if it our condition is false, that means the version number was greater than one. So that means it was modified. So let's go ahead and add some email. Okay, I got my email in there. Item was modified. The item was modified for, and we will go ahead and do title. Okay. So it's, it's an easily simple flow, but when I ran across this issue, uh, what I found online was like a lot more, a lot more complicated than it needed to be. So I figured I'd make a video on it. Let's go ahead and go into our marketing SharePoint list. Let's go ahead and make an item. So we will use Lenny. We'll do Lenny Doe. He's a software developer with start date. That, I don't even need that. So we're just gonna look for in my email that Lenny was created. We should get an email about that. All right, so let's go ahead and modify an item. So let's go ahead and change Leslie's job title. And we'll change Leslie became a data analyst. So that will give us the modified. 
So we have an item that was created and modified and we're just going to wait for the emails to come in. All right, so it looks like our flow has ran. I ran it a couple times. So if we go to the one from 15 seconds ago, as you can see, the version number on this one was one. So this one was created. So it was item was created. If I look at my email, item was created, Lenny. So that was our created record. And let's go ahead and go to the latest one. So this one is version eight. So this one was modified before. So it should have sent an email that item was modified. If we look at my email, we have item. the item that was modified was Leslie, and that was our case. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how you identify if an item was modified or created in Power Automate. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.